For this study, we're looking at The Story by Brandy Carlyle. It's going to sound like this, the introduction. And then the song starts. Now, before we get going, please make sure you've got a copy of the PDF. Um, also take note that it says capo fret 4. Now, we should actually capo fret 4 it, but then the song becomes so high in pitch, it's going to sound something like this. And that sounds almost like we're playing Alvin and the Chipmunks. It's very, very high pitch. So we're changing key because it's still going to sound really, really cool. And it's got some nice basic chords, so I really hope you enjoy playing this song. And let's first of all go through those chords, assuming that perhaps you're still new to ukulele. The song is originally obviously on guitar, so the ukulele we're going to have to come through one or two very subtle compromises, but it's still a really nice jam. We're starting with G, you're all familiar with G, fingers 1 and 2, finger 3, the G chord, followed up by D. D is normally played like this. Some of my students call this the squishy chord because the fingers are sort of really squashed together. And I found that if I swap my pointing finger and my middle finger around, so I play my D like this, I find it a lot more comfortable. And I've even got one or two students that really like playing D like this, which looks like it's a problem until they fret the top string with their thumb. So you could also play the D like that if you wanted to. Next up, E minor. We normally shortcut it like that, but we need to have the bass string for this one. So we're going to pick it as well later, we'll get there now. We're going to play our E minor like this. So ring finger all the way to the top, with the fourth fret, fourth string, pinky underneath it, and fingers one and two like that. I'm sure you can get a good visual of that chord with the video. And then C, what a pleasure, everybody loves C. <laughs> okay, now let's go back to the G chord and we're going to take you through the picking pattern starting with the introduction itself. Now for this song you can use a pick like this. And you'll notice I'm playing strings 3, 2, 1, 2 and I'm repeating it. And at the beginning of the video I actually use my fingers, so I did this, which I actually prefer for this song, and I'm using my thumb for the third string, using my pointing finger for the second string, middle finger for the first string. So finger-wise, thumb first, middle first, thumb first, middle first, and then you're going to hear a new note, and that note is my pinky coming in underneath on the G chord. So I'm starting it like this without the pinky. Two and three, and four and. And that's your pinky coming in on the third fret of the first string. Now, for the first verse of the song, we're going to do a picking pattern. So we're just going to change the angle a bit. And unlike it told that's got six strings, the ukulele obviously only has four, so our picking pattern for your first verse is going to be fourth string, third string, down strum, up strum. So it's going to be like this on G. And notice as well that I'm playing with the back end of my nail. Use a pick if you want to, so I don't mind if you use a pick. But the pick I find has got a very hard sound, so I prefer using the fingers, it's a bit more mellow, it gives a bit more of a gentle song or gentle sound for the song. And we're going to play through the G four times now. If you want to join me, two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Now, here's the reason why I like playing my D. Differently. Remember, I did mention the squishy chord at the beginning of the video, and I shared my way of playing it. I'm presenting on G still. When I transition across to the D, my middle finger goes to the top, and my ring finger slides back. So it's G, middle finger to the top, ring slides back, and here's my D chord. Also, four times in a row. 
E minor, a little bit more of a change because all the fingers have to get incorporated in here. It's not a personal favorite because my pinky and ring finger are really squeezing into the fourth fret there, and it's going to sound like this for E minor. first four lines of the story's first verse. So if you play through with me, you're going to have something like this. Two and three and four and... Nice big change coming up now. next line and she sings but these stories don't mean anything when you've got no one to tell them to you still do the same picking you still do the same chords in the same sequence but there is a change we only pick each string once so when you get to but these stories don't mean anything you're gonna go two G's two D's two E minors Back to G, I was made for you, to A, D's, and back to G, and stop, 2, 3, 4, and then you go on to verse number 2. Now, what's cool about this song is that you assume that she's going to keep the rhythm going that she used for the first verse, because she starts the first, well, the first line of the second verse with, I climbed across the mountain tops. And she starts off with But when she swims across the ocean blue, she goes And the song really picks up volume. Listen to the song, go onto YouTube, Spotify, whatever version you want to listen to. And you can hear that the beginning of the second verse, when the D kicks in, the band goes loud. There's an overdriven guitar going there. And in essence, all that's really happening is you're strumming down one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and four. It's really simple. And what sounds pretty sweet as well is maybe add a few down up strums as well. Watch this. One and two and three and four and a little extra down up strum just sounds cool for the changes. You can hear it, for example, the E minor to C. up to help the transition. In essence, you've learned everything that you need for the story by Brandy Carlyle. Remember, there is meant to be a capo at fret 4 and we explained that this is really too high because the capo would be there and your chord will be here and uh, that just sounds, sounds more like Alvin and the Chipmunks and the, the story. You could play the original chords, like you could play a B for example, I'll just take you through that. Nice chord B, and it's going to sound and now you're actually in the key of the original song from the B to the F sharp you go to fret number one bar it and these chords are not fun for the for the novice or the ukulele but they sound more accurate well they are accurate to the original this is your F sharp notice my first finger is barred and it's straight and it's flat across all four strings g sharp minor they come down so these are more advanced chords so if you want to play it right this will be the correct version g sharp minor and then e let's face it for you key players nobody likes e you have first finger on the first string second fret and then fingers two three and four squeeze into the fourth fret so this is your E, and you can, if you want to, actually borrow it as well, and do that. Okay, now I cheat a bit because I don't like doing this with my E. And I'm just going to show the different angle, because maybe you like this way of playing E as well. What I want you to look out for, for this different way of playing E, which some ukulele players love and some hate. See what you think. I will bar my second fret, and I'll put my 
ring finger there. Now watch that movement. It's a funny little movement. But what happens when my finger clicks in is this finger goes flat across those three strings and misses the bottom. So this is another way of playing E, but you can see the bend over here bending out and this is bending in. So it's got like what they call a dog leg sort of vibe going. You can play E like that and for me this is so much easier than trying to get my fingers squeezing in there. So that's your plan B for the E. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the story. Have an awesome week. Take care.